Hey guys, so in order to create an HTML CSS website, we need to have some tools. And if you're using Windows, um, Windows or Mac or Ubuntu, then you have some kind of text editor. And any kind of text editor will work. Um, not a word processor. Microsoft Word is not something, or Abbey Word or anything like that, uh, that has a lot of formatting, is not sufficient to create web pages. You can however use just Notepad. So what I have here is just a a fresh installation of Windows 7 Ultimate and we can just search for Notepad it's not typing and we can use this to create our HTML pages. <coughs> I'm going to create a, a folder on my desktop and I'm going to call it uh, chapter 1 section 2. Okay. Now in that folder I want to create an HTML file. So I want to go to new text document and we want to call this index.html. So we can open this with a browser, and right now all we have installed is is um, Internet Explorer, which I despise. So I'm actually going to show you how to just install Chrome, which is a great browser for developers. So if we just search for Google Chrome, download Chrome. I want to make it my default browser. All right. So Chrome is installing. <clears throat> okay, so now you can see this little icon down here is the Google Chrome icon. I can get out of Internet Explorer. And you can create an account with your Chrome browser if you want. Um, if you already have a Google account, you can use that, which I do. Okay, so we got Chrome installed, we have Notepad, um, and I'm just going to open up this HTML file with Notepad. And I'm just going to do an H1 tag and I'm going to write test. Okay, if I save that, now I should be able to open this index HTML file with a browser. So I'm going to go to open with. You know what? I'm not sure if they added the text, the .txt on the bottom of this. Um, I mean, at the end of it. So let's just try to open it with a browser for now. Chrome. Chrome. Okay. All right. Now, see, by default with Windows 7, if you do what we just did and, and named a text document index.html and you look up here the file is really index.html.txt so it really has a txt extension which is why we see these h1 tags we shouldn't be seeing these so what we need to do is enable our file explorer to show file extensions and we can do that if we go if we right click and go to properties I believe we can do that. I'm not exactly sure if this is where we do this. Folder pictures, icons. Um, maybe up here. Ignore. Um, organize. Folder and search options. And under view. Let's see. I know 
it's here somewhere. Show drive letters. Here we go. Hide extensions for known file types. We want to un uncheck that. And that should be it. So let's click apply and OK. And now you can see that it, ha it has the TXT extension. So we want to remove that. Now you can see that even the icon has changed to the Google icon. So let's click on that. And now you can see we have our test um, heading. And you can see the browser has formatted it to be this. this I'm not exactly sure what the font size is. Um, but it's pretty big, so we can actually view the source. If we if we click on, um, I'm sorry, if we press Control U, you can see the source of the HTML page, which has our H1 tags. So that's how you see the actual HTML. Uh, you can also go to, I believe it's Tools, and then View Source. We're already there, so. Yeah, so if we go to Tools and then View Source, it does the same thing. All right, so we're all set to start creating HTML files, um, but there's one more thing I want to do. Uh, I don't like the standard Notepad text editor because there's basically absolutely no options. There's no coding hints or help or um, coloring. So what I suggest you use is something called Notepad++. And it's free. I'll put the link in with the program files. And we're going to download the current version. Let's see. Okay, so we want the. I'm using Windows 7, so I want the Notepad installer. And I'm just going to save that to my downloads directory and open when done. And Notepad++ is just a, a more um, full featured text editor. Okay, so let's install this real quick. Good. The default selections should be fine. Um, let's see, I'm going to create a shortcut. Plugins. I'm going to leave these blank. All right, so now we can run Notepad. And you can see we have a lot more options uh, in coding view options, a lot of different views. We can collapse certain blocks of code, um, all kinds of things if you want to mess around and look at some of the options. Um, but if I close this and we can go to our index HTML and we can actually, when you use Notepad++, it puts this link right into the, the this box, this menu if you if you right click so we can just click open a notepad plus plus and here's our text file uh, we can say add a paragraph if we, now I can just save that and go back to my index HTML file and reload and now we have a paragraph so our environment is all set up when we get into future chapters and we start dealing with, with PHP and server-side development, um, we'll, we'll need to, to install some more tools like the XAMPP um, Apache server for Windows and some, some other stuff. So, uh, But this is good for now. Um, so we're all set to start coding in HTML, and I will see you in the next section.